My name is Charles Nichols. I am the coordinator of Homelessness Awareness Week. I've um, been doing this, as Trudy said, for a few years now. And, you know, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of it. I'll keep doing it because there's a need. But as much as I value what uh, various groups do, like I was talking to uh, uh, a woman named Jennifer, or as managers of soup kitchens. I'm great for what you do, you make a major difference, but I don't want to put you out of business. Um, I dream of the day we don't need to raise awareness for homelessness because there is no homelessness. Okay? Um, and the problem is not, it's not homeless people, it's homelessness. So many times, um, our society has responded to, to the people in terms of out of sight of the mind. Okay, if I don't have to see you, I don't have to think about you. I want you to think about us, but beyond that, I want you to make a difference. Okay? I raise awareness, I do what I can, I ask others to do what they can to raise awareness so that you, to make a difference. Okay? It's not enough for me to be an advocate. It's not enough for the professionals to talk to the government. Okay? It's not enough for the agencies to try to build housing. It takes a society. It takes the country. And as long as we look at it as someone else's job, even you know, that is the government's, we're not really going to solve it. Okay? The men and women and children, and yes, children, you run into on the street, could be you, could be your brother, your sister, your mother, even your grandmother. I've been there. I spent my 19th birthday under the Huron Street Bridge in Stratford. I was, I'm not going to tell you how many years ago it was. Uh, it's been a few. Okay? And as recently as 06, I was homeless again. For me, it's almost always been relationship breakdown. Or just plain poverty. Not having run by the landlord telling me, you gotta get out. Frankly, um, <laughs> I got the landlord telling me to get out to the wife, but, you know, um, some, some of us are opposite to it. Um, I, when you meet people, meet the person. Actually, see them. Not look through them, see them. But when you think about what difference can I make to the issue, you know, to overall, um, you know, what are, how are we going to house hundreds of people locally and hundreds of thousands nationally? We think we need, as a society, to be creative, and we need to be willing to invest. Uh, sometimes a lot of money and a lot of time, and we need to convince others to be willing to invest. Uh, as I as I said, I really don't like doing this. I'm uncomfortable standing here in public. Um, I don't. You know, I've done it kind of experience for you, but not, I don't enjoy it. And every year I ask people to do stuff that I know is really, really hard. Both in terms of speaking in public, because that's not comfortable for most people, and talking about themselves. And sometimes the worst memories of their lives. Um, that's really hard to do. It's hard for them. It's kind of difficult for me to ask. Um, and sometimes it's hard to hear. I hope you've heard today. I hope, you know, we made you uncomfortable. You know, and now is the time to ask yourself, what do I do? I have said before somewhere that it takes two people to end homelessness, me and you. Okay. I'm here, what about you? And as long as um, 
no matter how many people I'm talking to, it comes down to two, me and you. I want to thank everybody up here. And congratulate you, you've got courage. You're making a difference. Um, and thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. Now please make a difference.